sound of the world waiting, listening for the next great story. That speechless moment of the next breakthrough, or reveling in the sounds of a silenced pandemic. With the magnitude of great thinking done through history, man designed a place to create, house, and utilize these thoughts for the benefit of all. Today, we call this institution the university. It's the story of individuals becoming more chorus of the next generation. to see what you make it.
Welcome to the Spring 2022 Commencement Exercises of the College of Business Administration. It is wonderful to see everyone here today in person and ready to celebrate the great achievements of these students together. I'm Kevin Gwinner, Dean of the College, and I am pleased to introduce Ms. Eliza Swan, a bachelor's candidate managing, she has a fan club, bachelor's candidate managing and professional strategic selling to sing our national anthem. Please remain standing. stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the Thank you, Elijah. That was amazing. Please be seated. Before we proceed with our program, I would like to introduce the members of the platform party. Please hold your applause until I introduce the entire platform party. Beginning from my far left, we have Dr. Brett Wilkinson, head, Department of Accounting. Dr. Ansley Schwa, Associate Dean, Academic Programs. Dr. Chad Jackson, Director, Center for the Advancement of Entrepreneurship. Dr. Olivia La Del Rosso, Assistant Dean for Diversity, Equity, Inclusion, and Belonging. Mr. John Boozer, our commencement speaker. Dr. Richard Linton, President, Kansas State University. Dr. Charles Tabor, Provost and Executive Vice President. Ms. Allison DeMott, CBA Outstanding Senior, Dr. Xuan Xu, Associate Dean for Academic Administration, Ms. Abby Quigley, College of Business Administration Student Commencement Speaker, Mr. Kurt Roberts, Executive Director, Career Development, Dr. Esther Swilly, Head, Department of Marketing, Dr. Hardy Johnson, Head, Department of Finance, and Ms. Amy Button-Renz, President and CEO of the Kansas State University Alumni Association. Thank you. Thank you. Please also join me in thanking our commencement marshals. If you would please stand when I read your name. Ms. Benta Janda, Dr. Edward Nolan, Dr. Sabui Saradali, and Ms. Brianna Williams for their generous service as commencement marshals. Graduates, today is a wonderful day of celebration for you and your families. I am privileged to have the opportunity to share this special occasion with you. Your college experience has been unique, and I believe will make you stronger and more resilient in your life's journey. 
Family members of the graduates, we are grateful you are here and able to attend today's event, an event that marks the culmination of our graduates' years of hard work and sacrifice in the pursuit of knowledge, a meaningful career, and a promising future. Graduates, no one is happier or prouder of your educational accomplishments than the loved ones gathered here today. I want to take this moment to acknowledge the encouragement and support your families have provided for your success. Would the parents, spouses, and children of our graduates please stand and be recognized? I know that many families are here today celebrating a family tradition as a new generation joins the ranks of K-State alumni. Would all those present today who hold degrees from Kansas State University please stand for us to honor each family's Wildcat legacy. Thank you. And although we are here today to honor the accomplishments of the graduates, we also acknowledge the faculty and staff who have worked with our graduates in completing their studies. In honor of the faculty and professional staff who have served you with such dedication, I ask that you, our graduates, to please stand and applaud their contributions to your success. Thank you. I'm pleased to recognize several faculty and staff members named as the recipient of prestigious awards this semester. Please stand when I call your name. Dr. Michael Krush, Associate Professor of Marketing, is the recipient of the K-State, Commerce Bank, and W.T. Kemper Foundation Outstanding Undergraduate Teaching Award. Dr. Dr. Rachel Mui, Assistant Professor of Management, is the recipient of the College of Business Administration Developing Scholars Award. Ms. Susie Otten, the director of our PMBA program, is the recipient of the Kansas State Bank Outstanding Advising Award. And Dr. Jake Duke, teaching assistant professor of management, is the recipient of the Ralph E. Wright's Outstanding Teaching Award. Congratulations to these award winners. We also have several graduates who have received university-wide awards acknowledging their excellence in leadership, scholarship, and community service. As I call your name, please stand to be recognized. Islam Akhmaradov and Wedant Kulakarne are both recipients of the K-State Alumni Association International Leadership Award. The Dean of Student Life Outstanding Graduating Senior Award recipients are Matthew Swords, Cameron Coger, and Natalie Moyer. Well done, I'll ask you to stand again. Waydant Kulkarne is also the recipient of the Michael E. Brown Alpha Tau Omega Mortarboard Leadership Scholarship and the K-State Alumni Association Anderson Senior Award for Outstanding Inspiration. One special group of graduates who have made significant contributions are those who have served as a business ambassador in the college. Would all those students who have been a business ambassador as an undergraduate please stand to be recognized? Thank you for your excellent service. We are honored to have Kansas State University President Richard Linton, Provost and Executive Vice President Charles Tabor, and President of the K-State Alumni Association Amy Budden Rince join us. Thank you for being here today. Thank you.
Now it is my distinct honor to introduce our commencement speaker. Mr. John Boozer has been a resident of Dallas, Texas since 1982. He spent more than 22 years with the alternative assets business of Neuberger Berman, a global asset management firm. He served most recently as the vice chairman of alternative assets after 13 years as the global head of the private investment portfolio business. Mr. Boozer retired from Neuberger Berman at the end of 2021, but remains a consultant to the company. For the 17 years prior to entering the investment management business, he was an attorney with the international law firm Aiken, Gump, Strauss, Hauer, and Feld. Raised in Independence, Kansas, he graduated in 1978 from the College of Business Administration and subsequently from Harvard Law School. Currently, Mr. Boozer is a trustee of National Review Institute, the parent company of National Review Magazine and website, a member of the Asset Management Committee at the Kansas State University Foundation, and an ardent supporter of the Kansas State University soccer program. Please join me in welcoming John Boozer as our spring 2022 commencement speaker. Dean, thank you for the introduction and also for the opportunity to participate in today's commencement. Congratulations to each of the graduates. Congratulations on reaching this moment. Although you each graduate together, you've undoubtedly faced different challenges to arrive here today. And if you haven't already, I hope you each will take a moment to reflect on your unique path to here, on the people who've supported you and challenged you, and on the strengths and values that have led to your success. So, Dean pointed out how old I am in the introduction. So I'll continue that theme. So I graduated 44 years ago, and my earliest memory of technology is our family's black and white television set. Someone had to get up and cross the room to change the volume or change the channel to one of the three choices we had. Back then, you could slap the side of the television and it would improve the picture sometimes. In the decades since then, I have failed to predict any of the changes in products and services that have become available. So it would be foolish for me to attempt to tell you what is to come, but I'm confident it is going to be great during your lifetime. And although I am blind to the technology improvements of the future, I have no doubt that the driver of those changes will be the innovation driven by hard work and enterprise. Humans instinctively strive for success and we instinctively innovate to overcome obstacles. Over these last several years, while you built the foundations of your careers at K-State, you've witnessed firsthand the importance of innovation to the improvement of the human condition. The global pandemic has caused millions of deaths and the imposition of devastating lockdowns that affected you as well, and has been a broadly shared challenge like no other in my lifetime. Nevertheless, Tremendous innovation answered these challenges, especially in healthcare and work environments. So while we first and foremost admire the courageous efforts of all the healthcare professionals and all the other key serve professionals who work tirelessly, often in dangerous settings, to help their patients and community. However, we should also keep in mind all the incredible innovations and adaptions that have arisen more broadly through the economy. For example, we've seen the most rapid delivery of effective vaccines to the market in all of history. And the speed of that delivery of those vaccines was made possible through pre-existing technology that had been developed by biotechnology businesses for other purposes, including the future individualized medical treatments that you will see in your lifetimes. Likewise, we witnessed rapid adoption of digital technologies to enable businesses to reduce the spread in their communities. In short, the natural innovation in the economy lessened the negative impact of the pandemic and the lockdowns. So in these last few years, businesses, large and small, delivered in obvious ways to improve our lives. But this has always been the case, not just in times of crisis. At some point, my 1960s family saved up sufficiently to buy a set of encyclopedias. With our black and white TV, our rotary dial phone, and our new encyclopedias with over 20 volumes, we are pretty close to the pinnacle of communication and information. 
compare the information and communication capabilities of my youth to the amount of information and communication capabilities you currently have at your fingertips in the phone that I'm sure is in every one of your pockets. Business delivered information and communication capabilities in the 1960s, and it does so today, just a measurably better after tremendous innovation. Judging by how many hours a day our noses are in those smartphones, this innovation has dramatically improved our day-to-day -day existence. And of course, many of you are about to embark on a career in business. Probably you'll be start of several businesses over your careers, and perhaps you'll start one or more. Your hard work and your creativity will drive those businesses to innovate the goods and services that will help meet the challenges of the day and the needs of the consumer. Now the skills you've managed to you've managed uh, now skills to manage a business effectively and profitably are what you learned in business school. More recently, it has been common to underrate the impact or even disparage private enterprise and business, but it is successful businesses that deliver these incredible innovations to society. They deliver the vaccines, the work from home technologies, and the phone in your pocket, and all the content that shows up on it. However, skills of managing a business are not all you learned at school. You've learned about ethics and further developed your character. This is particularly important to keep in mind as you enter the workforce, both as to your individual conduct within the business and the conduct of the business towards others. When you walk in the door, your first day on your new job, everyone there will assume that you are high integrity until the first time that you aren't. Likewise, the products and services that your business needs to safely meet their intended purpose, if, you, if they don't safely meet their intended purpose, your business will be tarnished. So every day, you are going to need to apply your values, and every day, your integrity is going to be judged. Which leads to my main takeaway for you today. If you pursue a career in business, and if you maintain your values, you are making an excellent choice and a moral choice. It's not the only excellent moral choice, but it is the choice that will drive innovation and improve the well-being of all of us. So take pride in your work and act with integrity, and you will be changing the world for the better. Also, I want to emphasize the importance of certain aspects of your personal interactions and development inside and outside of your business life. First, at the foundation of quality relationships is mutual respect. Differences of opinion are natural. When we disagree with someone on a subject of importance, we naturally get tense and tend to respond aggressively. Instead of a tense reaction, I would encourage each of you to develop your skills of persuasion. The skill of disagreeing in an agreeable fashion requires great work to refine, but it can maintain and strengthen working and personal relationships. When you seek to persuade, you show respect for the person opposite you in the conversation that may generate respect in your direction in turn. Often, in disagreements, there is a power imbalance. If the person in the position of power isn't open to persuasion, the counterparty walks away with a diminished view of that person. And for the person in the position of power, being open to, per open to persuasion sets aside that power and can strengthen your relationships. Another show of respect is the act of responding concisely and directly to questions you are asked. You demonstrate respect to the other person by listening. You demonstrate respect by treating the question as important and worth answering. People ask questions to gather information and deserve a response. Finally, you should focus on making sure that you personally flourish. You can innovate in your own career. Sometimes you'll flourish by being bold and taking risks. The most meaningful and impactful point in my career was seizing an opportunity to transition to a new career. It might not have worked, but it was a risk I chose to take. I believe many others at the end of their careers would likewise say that taking steps towards some new opportunity in the face of uncertainty often yielded the most exciting and fulfilling outcomes. So again, congratulations on your accomplishment that is honored here today. I hope your professional life and your personal relationships provide you a fulfilling life and that part of that life is always staying close to your roots at Kansas State University. Thank you very much.
John, thank you for your inspirational remarks and your eloquent challenge for our graduates. Please accept this small expression of our appreciation for your participation in today's ceremony. We are grateful to have Amy Button Renz, President and CEO of the K-State Alumni Association in attendance. She will say a few words on behalf of the Alumni Association. Good afternoon. I'm excited to join you today to welcome you to the alumni family of Kansas State University and the K-State Alumni Association. As an alumnus, you now join a K-State network of more than 200,000 living graduates. Our mission at the Alumni Association is to lead and inspire lifelong involvement that will benefit Kansas State University and all members of our Wildcat community. Our core values guide us in our mission to help keep you connected with K-State. Our most important value is LINK. We provide the lifelong link that alumni depend on to remain connected. You can stay in touch through hundreds of alumni activities held on campus, around the country, internationally, and even virtually. Another value is tradition. You will likely celebrate a few traditions this weekend as you sing the alma mater for the first time as a new graduate or take KSU photos at your favorite spot on campus. The final value I'd like to talk about today is purple. For K-Staters, it's more than a color. It's a symbol of pride, connection, and family. In recognition of your graduation, the College of Business Administration, along with the K-State Alumni Association, are providing you with a complimentary, complimentary one-year membership to the association. You, we hope you will enjoy the membership benefits and you will always be an active member. K-State alumni are among the most loyal in the nation. Our membership ranks in the top five nationally for the percentage of graduates who are members. That loyalty is shared by generations of K-Staters who have the same passion for K-State that you feel today as you receive your degree from one of the finest universities in the nation. We are also pleased to present you with an exclusive alumni business card holder. As you go through life and your titles and addresses change, please be sure to keep us updated. We want to make sure you are always connected to your K-State family. Congratulations and go Cats! Thank you, Amy. Next, it is my honor to present the Outstanding Graduating Senior in Business Award. This award is a peer-selected award based on service to the college as an undergraduate, involvement in the life of the college, engagement in the K-State community, and personal academic success. This semester, Ms. Allison DeMott is the recipient of the Outstanding Senior in Business Award. Allie, will you please join me at the podium? <laughs> Allison is majoring in human resource management and organizational management, and is also earning a certificate in the business of sports and entertainment marketing. The daughter of Marlene and Cecil DeMott, she is a native of Rockport, Missouri, and a graduate of Rockport High School. As an undergraduate, Allie was extensively involved in the College of Business. She served as a business ambassador, a student senator for business, a member of the Business College Tuition Committee, and as a member of the Dean's Student Advisory Council. Allie has been a member of the K-State Student Governing Association, the Senate Operations Committee, and the KSU Collegiate Quiz Bowl Club. Allie has received a number of awards and honors during her undergraduate career to include the Purple and White Scholarship, the Herbert and Neva Blevin Scholarship, the Dean's List Scholarship, and the American FFA degree. After graduation, Allie plans to stay in Manhattan and work in her chosen field. Please join me in congratulating Allison DeMott on receiving the Spring 2022 College of Business Outstanding Graduating Senior Award.
Each semester, the college faculty and staff vote to choose one student to speak at commencement as a representative of the graduates. This semester's speaker is Ms. Abby Quigley. Abby is a finance major and is minoring in leadership studies while also earning a certificate in integrated investment management. The daughter of Brad and Kelly Quigley, Abby is a native of Overland Park, Kansas and a graduate of Blue Valley High School. After graduating, Abby will join the Dallas Accenture office in the consulting development program. During her K-State career, Abby has been engaged in leadership activities across campus to include serving as a finance tutor, a facilitator for Wildcat Dialogues, and the external philanthropy chair for Delta 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 Sorority. As an undergraduate, Abby was named to the prestigious K-State Finance Scholars Program. She received a number of awards and honors to include first place in the Gates Capital Management Stock Pitch Challenge, third place in the CFA Institute Research Challenge, and the College of Business Executive Mentorship Program Mentee of the Year Award in 2021. She was first place in performance tracking in the K-State Finance Scholars Program and was a recipient of the notable K-State Putnam Scholarship. Abby, it's my honor to introduce you as the spring 2022 student commencement speaker. So how's everyone doing? Are we ready? Are we excited? Come on. Hi everyone, family, and distinguished guests. My name is Abby Quigley, and I'm incredibly honored to be here with you all today. What a monumental day this is. We finally made it. We have so much to celebrate, and I hope that you all take this day to celebrate your accomplishments at Kansas State, because you guys have worked hard for this. So although we sit here as a group with the commonality that we are all very soon to be graduates from Kansas State University, the finest university in this state. Our experiences throughout our time here could not be more different from each other. We have all had individualized moments that shaped our college experience to be our own. This, I believe, is a special aspect of college because for the first time in life, we have full independence. So this newfound independence can mean different things for all of us. For some, it may mean taking on a new hobby, making new friends, exploring all that Manhattan has to offer, or maybe be even being a frequent attendant of the library. Now I am talking about Hale Library, our beautiful library on campus, but we also do have a liquor store in town called the library. Now, moving on to what makes Kansas State so special. Hands down, the most significant aspect that has shaped my experience at Kansas State has been the people. Whether it's the peers, faculty, staff, or the alumni of this university, these people are the integral aspect that makes this institution different than any other on the planet. So as I was reminiscing on why I chose Kansas State, I remembered my first official college visit my senior year of high school. So ever since I've been little, I've always been a wildcat. My parents both attended Kansas State, so my three sisters and I spent many years coming up for K-State football games and to spend time in my parents' happy place. Because of these experiences, I knew I loved Kansas State and Manhattan, but I didn't want to make my college choice until I had officially toured many colleges. My first college tour ended up being Kansas State, and I immediately fell in love with the people, peers, and just this whole place in general. I could immediately sense the pure compassion and generosity that Kansas State people had for each other, for each other. And this was evident within my first couple minutes on the tour. Following that tour, I knew I wanted to attend Kansas State because Manhattan felt like home. I ended up canceling every other college tour I had scheduled because I knew Kansas State was the place for me. Following that tour, I can say that every experience I have had at Kansas State has been nothing short of amazing. I finally now know why family is a large part of who we are as K-Staters, because I've seen it firsthand. We treasure our family and put family first, no matter what happens in life. I hope that Manhattan will always remain a home for us, no matter how far we may go. 
So throughout my four years at Kansas State, I learned so many things. Some of the most memorable, however, seem to be the simplest. One of, one of the things I learned was the importance to ask for help and to never be too scared to ask for that help. I also learned to view every rejection in life as one step closer to achieving your dreams. I have had many, many rejections in life, and I know I wouldn't be the person I am standing up here without those rejections. Lastly, something I learned from my mentor from the College of Business Executive Mentorship Program, Bill, hi Bill, I know you're watching, <laughs> is to never let fear drive your life and to always be yourself. Hillel the Elder, one of the most influential rabbis in Jewish history, stated over 2,000 years ago, if I am not for myself, who will be for me? As simple as those 10 words may sound, I believe they hold significant meaning. I truly believe in order to make an impact in this world, we must first be secure in ourselves prior to being able to achieve our dreams and impact others. What makes us a family is our differences, and we must embrace those differences instead of trying to hide them. Finally, as the Kansas State University Class of 2022, I have a challenge for us. I challenge us to live every day, every day to the fullest because we truly don't know what's next in life. Help others take risks and love voraciously. Lastly, please don't forget about this place that we've had the privilege of calling home for the past couple years. Challenge yourself to make an impact on future Wildcats like we had the privilege of receiving during our time here. Whether that means being a mentor in the executive mentorship program and mentoring a future Wildcat, to being involved in the Alumni Association, or funding Wildcat student scholarships. Don't let this be the last that Kansas State sees your face. Life is so much more fulfilling when you help others and take risks. Now, time to celebrate. Cheers to us, class of 2022. Don't go too far. Congratulations and thank you, Abby. We are now ready to present the degree candidates for the College of Business Administration. Will the candidates for bachelor degrees from the College of Business Administration please rise and remain standing. President Linton. On behalf of the faculty in the College of Business Administration at Kansas State University, I am pleased to present to you the College of Business Class of Spring 2022. So this is the paragraph that you've all been waiting for. Let me first state congratulations to all the graduates and a thank you and a great deal of appreciation to all the faculty, to the family, to the parents, and the friends that have supported these, these graduates over the last several years. At the end of this paragraph, there's gonna be an opportunity for audience participation. You're not loud enough yet, and you're the biggest crowd so far, so there's gonna be an opportunity for you to get real loud real soon. By the authority of the people of the state of Kansas and the Kansas Board of Regents and upon the recommendation of the faculty and completion of degree requirements, I am pleased to confer upon you the graduating class of spring 22, the degree that you have earned at Kansas State University. You may now move the tassel to the left side of your mortar board and congratulations. Graduates, please be seated. 
Will the marshals please direct the graduates to stand and approach the stage for the awarding of their degrees? The following are degree candidates in accounting. Spencer Neil Alimo. Tevis Michael Blondi. Skyler Kareen Mayan Murphy. Landry J. Weber, summa cum laude. Aubrey Christine German, magna cum laude. Giovanna Montoya. Josie Elise Bedford. Emily Brooke Goulding. Angel Bao Nock Trong. Chelsea Marie Phillips, cum laude. Anna Noel Sinek, cum laude. Tyler Lee Beavers, cum laude. Matthew Carl Swords, summa cum laude. Mary Cleese LaBelle, summa cum laude. Rachel Sharon Rainey. Cody Lee Dops. Madison Rose Schneeweiss. Gavin James Knapp. Jose Andres Wetter. Caitlin Bayan. Kylie Michelle Martin, cum laude. Macy Marie Meitler, magna cum laude. Reagan Lynn Nelson. Brenna Ann Monty, magna cum laude. Avery Reagan Malloy. Madison Diane Ramsey, magna cum laude. Kyra Gabrielle Rodriguez. Aaron Joseph Nizes, cum laude. Michaela Ray Fielder. Lakin Mariah Schrader. Andrew Cameron Scott. Wesley Hunter Conroe. Jake Ryan Schuler. Jose Antonio Bautista Mamuric. Cameron Anthony Feldkamp. Lucas Eugene Hafner.
Sean Ryan Terrell. Ryan Dean DeVault. Lexis Kellyanne Savolt. Tyler Rodvelt. Zachary Lynn Sauer, cum laude. Zachary John Zumwalt. Jessica Marie Smith, magna cum laude. Justin Cox. Emerson Caroline Bidnick. Chloe Scott. Margaret Rose Keohoho. Cassidy Catherine Eck, cum laude. Caitlin Nicole Zabaturski. Jalen Liddell Williams. Gilberto Salvador Becerra Barraza. Brett McVeigh Tilton, summa cum laude. Ryan Walter Brockschmidt, cum laude. Cooper Christopher Thomas, magna cum laude. Travis James Weebler, magna cum laude. The following are degree candidates in general business, business administration. Baylor Scott Bowling. Danielle Justine Lout. Abigail Rose Lynn Van. Arenis Nunez, cum laude. The following are degree candidates in entrepreneurship. Justin Michael Wright. Brett Daniel Schilly, magna cum laude. William Hunter Tenor. Alexa Renee Heise. Carson Ambrose Crable. Gage Alexander Ward. Katia Ann Gregov. Nathan Thomas Gardner. Joshua Edwin Bybee. Grayson Boyce Kearns. Jake Christopher Willenbring. Hayden Nicholas Reinert. Alec Chase Grunder.
Cody Lane Ely. Brandon Joseph Solari. Islam Akmaradov. Sailor Ann Grace Seiler, magna cum laude. The following are degree candidates in entrepreneurship and innovation. Eric Christian Feyman. Chandler Joel Hyde. Jaden Michael Gardner. The following are degree candidates in finance. Jace Scott Brown. Tyler John Nulla. Mary Lucy Tujak. Kevin Andrew Wise. Trey Joel Kobler. Nicholas John McCrate. Tyler Anthony Tarn. Richard Beck Boehner. Tanner Allen Gertson, summa cum laude. Nolan Lee Crawford, cum laude. Bryce Lewis Bluma. Jarrett Ross Simon. Stone Matthew Giles. Joseph Stephen Boleski. Ku Chol Sun. Nicholas Randall Allen. <laughs> Philip A. Brooks. <laughs> Cole Jeffrey Abram. Jose Carlos Benitez Aguilara. Caleb Asher Sletzbaum. Jenna Michelle Duncan. Graham Michael Kanegi, summa cum laude. Graham Jackson Lee. Rogelio Concepcion Barraza Gomez, summa cum laude. Tyler Robert Cunningham. Cole Joseph Schreyer.
Dylan James Higgins, cum laude. Dylan's diploma is being presented to him by his father, Eric Higgins, the Von Wadden Chair of Investment Management, Faculty of Distinction, Department of Finance. Colton Linder Nilsson. Griffin James McBride. Abby Abigail Sue Quigley, summa cum laude. Justin Chun Sievert, cum laude. Jacob David Warnkin. Reed R. Gertson. Luke James Wyant. Ashley Ann Augustine. Stefan Michael Labla. Luke John Fringer. Ashton James Cole. Michael Vela. Joshua Jacob Acosta. Jacob Joseph Hill, magna cum laude. Alex Ariga. Ethan Robert Hatcher. Christopher Robert Patrick. Coda Aaron Rom McAfee. Zachary Ryan Farmer, cum laude. Casey John Lanou. Cade Dawson Sterrett. Nicholas Reinert, cum laude. Fisher Locke Carr, cum laude. Colin Patrick Ritchie, cum laude. Foster Glenn Kunkel. Artur Zygmunt Klopecki. Isaiah Scott Washington. Jacob Leon Spiegel. Colton Ray Coker, cum laude. Jared Michael Tebow, magna cum laude. Tristan Scott Powell, summa cum laude. Caleb Allen Beal, magna cum laude. Seth T. Wellholter. Benjamin Maxwell DeZube, summa cum laude. Mary Claire Bien, summa cum laude.
Natalie Elizabeth Bien, summa cum laude. Megan Elizabeth Siebenbergen, cum laude. Sydney Reed Henry, summa cum laude. Courtney Elizabeth Hyatt, cum laude. Abigail Kathleen Lasala, summa cum laude. Reese Ann Louise Johnson. Abby Catherine Waltering. Samantha Lee Thompson. Anna Nicole Sanko, summa cum laude. Ryan Alex Kaur, summa cum laude. Caleb M. Harrison. Jennifer Ann Meyer. Derek Ray Shaheen, summa cum laude. Lele Leo. Ye Pung. Jack Hillard Cozine. Jessica Emily Nichols, cum laude. Caden Gregory Williams. Bryson James Meinhart. Tanner Lawrence Towns. Caden Lee Bauer, magna cum laude. David Kadivi, summa cum laude. Stratton Alexander Smeltzer. Alejandra M. Gonzalez, cum laude. The following are degree candidates in management. Jacqueline N. Anzalone. Tucker L. Bauman. Okay. Ryan Robert Baer. Rachel Lee Etzel. Mitchell John Flanagan, summa cum laude.
Reed Albert Stimak, cum laude. Dylan Ray Becker. Alexander Killian Norcross, cum laude. Garrett Charles Gunnison, summa cum laude. Dharma Joanne Kawasi. Lisa Fang. Iwana Gita. Maria Gabriela Linares Faria. Gwen Ruth Bachman, magna cum laude. Taylor Brian Gardner, magna cum laude. Amy Marie Anderson, cum laude. Iran Fernanda Lopez Vargas. John Matthew Cotton. Parker Faye Rice. Zane Stephen Bull. Allison Eileen DeMott. Jacob Guy Penniger. Jacob Aaron Smith, magna cum laude. Jackson E. Taphorn. Gunther A. Schul. Alexis Catherine Shabilsky. Grant Matthew Cantrell. Peyton Gregory Carr. Alvaro Domingo Gonzalez Sarubi. Jasmine Picaric Ab Abau. John Alexander Roth. Joseph Maxon Frenema. Hayden Matthew Witt, summa cum laude. Justin Patrick Janzing. John Ray Dion Pam Dung Mango. <laughs> Benjamin Paul Harms. Jane Marie Colt.
Jacob W. Gillespie. Tanner C. Dixon. Joshua Aaron Jones. Samantha Lynn Crawford, summa cum laude. Alice Elizabeth Espinoza. Jace R. Ward, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration Management, awarded posthumously. Jace's diploma is being accepted by his sister, Brooke Ward, and friend, Adam Sale, on his behalf. Juliana Hayes Aloman. Matthew Ward Lawrence. Ava Jane Baker. Natalie Claire Dryling. Naomi, Naomi Kara Jensik, summa cum laude. Jackson Scott Crable. Ryan Christopher Burson. Jack William Morrissey. Mary Margaret Fiaden. Navid Mohibi. Remington Grant Dunlop. Ryan Jacob Manganello. Thomas Connor O'Boyle Cum Laude. Nolan Lewis Wright. Samantha Ray Swearingen. Reagan Lynette Schreiber. Liam Hugh McConnell, magna cum laude. Cade Anthony Morphy. James Daniel Bredlove II. Evan Michael Rice. Warren Allen Dietz. Jacob Ryan Chase. Elliot Walsh Tackmeyer. Jacob Peter Berger. Grace Taylor Vogel, summa cum laude. Carly Nicole Dubert. Sydney Kathleen O'Brien, cum laude.
Evan Michael Fox. Brad Eric Wilson. Gina M. Russolo. Anthony Hayes Reed. Carter James Westoff. Morgan Canaper, magna cum laude. Trinity Lynn Wong. Anna Jo Snacker. Rachel Catherine Walker, summa cum laude. Kayla Lee Legit. Alexander Richard Cattell. Frank Joseph Schleimer. Cody Andrew Hanna. Treshawn Everett Summers. Joshua Patrick Cachera. Evan Tyler Bristensky. Joshua Ryan Bush. Mackenzie K. Moran. Madeline Elise Crowley. Ross Kent Ifland. The following are degree candidates in Management Information Systems. Jackson Kennedy Boyle, magna cum laude. Garrison John Stoll. Gabriel Benjamin Wethers. Sean Frazier Vananda. Tanner Allen Webb. Jackson Brian Engel. Jack Schaefer Plank. Brendan Michael Snell. Caden Ray Stewart. Matthew Ryan Sikinski. Juan Carlos Bocanegra Ruiz. Andrew Lane Cafoid, magna cum laude. Colin Patrick Moore. Debbie Donna Tella Michuk.
Michael James Hugo. Tanner John Williams. Lucas Carson Walker. Connor Brendan Edwards. Connor Jeffrey Herman. Brett George Schmidt, magna cum laude. McKenna Gail Reagan. Caleb Lee Kirk. James Conrado Thomas. Jacob Robert Swafford. Matthew George Wahlberg. Brett Arthur Jenrich. Shrey Nilish Modi. Cooper Wayne Elliott. Mason L. McClellan Cum Laude. Joseph Dean Crane. Chandler Eston McCormick. Jalen Brian Pickle. Vedant Deepak Kulkarni. Marshall Warren Fayek, summa cum laude. Marshall's diploma is being presented to him by his mother, Carol Fick, Teaching Associate Professor, Department of Animal Sciences and Industry. Jason Aldridge Potter. Marcio Hernadi Baptista. The following are degree candidates in marketing. Morgan Way Waterman, summa cum laude. Kristen Elizabeth Medlin. Garrett James White. Chloe Elizabeth Byers. Jackson Murphy O'Rourke. Tyler James Tinson. Nicholas Allen Lester. Cole Thornton Madsen. Sarah Melissa Hernandez. J.T. Bell.
Hunter Lee A. Lyle King. George Matthew Cartwright. Reese Jackson Bailiff. Sophia Celine Leal Montoya. Natalie Brianna Moyer. Hilda Isabel Solano. Del Delaney Marie Heiner. Victoria Lynn West. Olivia McKenzie White. Devin Joanne Curley. Grant Alexander Paulson. Abigail A. Johnson. Blakely Ellen Biddle. Heather Rose Fratorski, Fratorsiak. <laughs> Tara Lee Foster, cum laude. Mia Elizabeth Herbert. Maria Catherine Frank. Peyton Marie Dow. <laughs> Haley Marie Walcott. <laughs> Mitchell Andrew Bennett, magna cum laude. <laughs> Benjamin Lee Wenzel. Madison Haley Johnson. How Tian Du. Shannon Marie Falky, magna cum laude. John Kenneth Baker. Kira Nickel. Courtney Suzanne Harms, magna cum laude. Catherine Marie Guria. Lakin Ann Cusamanio, cum laude. Brady Dylan Knowles. Bo Samuel Bonebreak, cum laude. Jessica Nicole Cude. Carolyn Diana Clark. <laughs> Abigail Rose White. Yeah. 
Sophia Marie Terryberry. Annalie Thiessen Hobbs, cum laude. <clears throat> Kayla Ray Glor. <clears throat> Kara Megan Keen. <laughs> Allison Ann Eichmann. Sydney Ann Heidmaker, Magna Cum Laude. Alexis Ann Heiss. Michaela Beverly Fullerton, Summa Cum Laude. Sarah Catherine Warnicke, summa cum laude. Jordan Isaiah Griffin. Dylan Michael Kaiser. Peyton James Kiefer. Samuel Wesley Kirk. Cameron Harvey Coger. William Carter Wildly. Caden Dean Redeker. Rachel Lynn Sherling. Cooper John Schroeder. Carter Alexander May. Jack Allen Wiles. Spencer James Kipes. Blake Robert Bontrager. Bennett Grant Shipley. Trevor Dean Rand. Skyler John Stuckey. <laughs> Bailey Marie Cannot. <laughs> Kenneth Frederick Cecil, summa cum laude. <laughs> Lauren Grace Allenberger. Joseph Richard Lucas. Chase Dalton Swanson. Rachel Marie Kaminsky. Caitlin Renee Shaben, cum laude. Samantha Eileen Ann Louise, magna cum laude. Catherine Claire Odell. Anna 
Anna Kate Weigel, summa cum laude. Tessa Elaine Meinhart, cum laude. Peyton Lee Berry, summa cum laude. Jason Kent West. Cutter Brock Huss. Tristan Daniel Swanson. Chase Michael Peterson. Thomas Matthew Dittrich. Bryce Christian Ansley. Timothy Evan Wheaton. Alexandra Lynn Campbell. Elizabeth Leanne Sutton. Rachel Leanne Root. Janessa Waltemath. <laughs> Emily Lynn Hitchman. <laughs> Carolyn Grace Donatel. <laughs> Benjamin Christopher Ross. Michael Wenchia Chiao. <laughs> Hannah Elizabeth Sutherland. <laughs> Molly Elizabeth Bechtel. Ariana Isako Harland. Dylan E. Williams. Liam James O'Malley. Jack Anthony Barrent. Reed David McCrate. Carlito James Johnson. Brandon Michael Lobb. Ethan Benjamin Craig. Jared Thomas Belts. Max Douglas Fulbright. Lauren Lee Greenstreet. The following are degree candidates in professional strategic selling. Zachary Edward Oaks. <laughs> Jacob William Swickard. Adam Richard Davis. Caitlin Elizabeth Highstand.
Sophia Jan Easter. Eliza Ray Swan, summa cum laude. Nolan Matthew Labarge. Maxwell Franklin Weisler. Cameron Elizabeth Jones, summa cum laude. Colin Lee Thompson, magna cum laude. Emma Nicole Tibbetts. Brooke R. Pickert. Grace Kathleen Langdon, summa cum laude. Cole Douglas Hickerson. Jake Ryan Adams, magna cum laude. Cole Travis Pierce. Cameron Stephen Klein. Oh, wait. Do you want me to? <laughs> B. Wade Christopher Heller. Matthew Kent Moore. Andrew William Malgren. Margaret Blythe Sebus. Graduates, it has been the privilege of the college's administration, faculty, and staff to work with you over the past few years. Congratulations to all of you. Please join me in recognizing the outstanding accomplishments of these graduates one more time. Will you please rise for the singing of our alma mater, led by Eliza Swan, K-State Class of 2022.
Thank you, Eliza. We would ask the audience to remain in your place until the platform party and the graduates have exited this Coliseum. Graduates, please follow the marshals to the rear of the Coliseum, up the stairs, and into the concourse area. You are welcome to meet in the concourse area for pictures and conversation. This concludes our ceremony. Congratulations and enjoy your afternoon.